Red diamonds are the rarest and most unique type of fancy colored diamond. A red diamond is a pure carbon gemstone, featuring none of the chemical impurities that create other kinds of colored diamonds. Very few mines produce red diamonds. Africa, Australia, Brazil, and India are the areas known for having produced red diamonds. Of these areas, the Argyle mine in Western Australia is responsible for several famous red diamonds. Only a handful of pure red diamonds are found each year. Different than other fancy diamonds, red diamonds don't obtain their color from having impurities like nitrogen for a yellow diamond and boron for the blue diamond in their composition. In fact, the exact cause of the red diamond's color is still debated among experts. Some gemologists believe that the red shade comes from changes to the atomic structure in a process called plastic deformation that occurred during the diamond's journey to the Earth's surface. Similar to pink diamonds, it's likely that the enormous pressure the diamonds endured impacted their molecular structure. With this theory, more pressure probably meant a richer red hue. Not knowing the exact origin of the red diamond's color adds to the stone's mystery, as it's the rarest one of all the fancy colored diamonds. With red diamonds, there are no varying levels of color intensity. While other fancy colored diamonds are graded by terms like fancy, intense and vivid, red diamonds are not evaluated on that scale. The red color itself could even be considered as a supersaturated level of the pink diamond spectrum. Different modifiers, or overtones, may be present along with the red color. The most common, and probably the most aesthetically pleasing, is purplish red. Other common modifiers are brownish and orange. Stones with orange and brownish overtones are worth significantly less than pure red or purplish red diamonds. In today's video, we are going to look at some of the rarest red diamonds in the world with regards to their size, color, clarity, and cut. Tenth on our list is the treated red diamonds. Since natural red diamonds are so rare and expensive, the jewelry industry has come up with more affordable options. Artificially created red diamonds, which can be synthetic stones or natural diamonds that have been treated to alter their color. However, the color looks quite different than natural untreated ones, it looks more magenta in color. And is worth much less. Synthetic red diamonds are created in a lab. And they have the same chemical composition as natural diamonds, so synthetics are not considered fake. Lab-created red diamonds are cheaper than natural ones and are a good, affordable alternative. Treated red diamonds are created when natural diamonds of another color are subjected to heat, irradiation, or high pressure to change their hue. And a very good example would be this very nice 3.9 carats emerald cut, heat-treated red diamond, which is worth about $80,000, but if it was a natural one it would have been estimated at over $15 million. Ninth on our list is the Argyle Phoenix Diamond. The Argyle Phoenix, a 1.5 carat round brilliant cut diamond that was auctioned by Rio Tinto at its 2013 event and sold for more than $2 million. This was the highest per carat price ever paid for an Argyle diamond. That 2013 auction was a real festivity for red diamond fanatics as it auctioned three more exceptional fancy red diamonds. Eighth on our list is the red purple octagon diamond. The year was 2007, and this very rare piece modified octagonal shaped fancy purplish red diamond weighing 2.26 carats, within a heart-shaped diamond petal surround to the micro pavade pink diamond border and bifurcated shoulders. Mounted in 18k pink gold was sold for $2,600,000. English jeweler Lawrence Graff who has an insatiable appetite for the world's largest jewels, bought the ring. Seventh on our list is the Rod Red Diamond. Although small at 0.59 carats, the pear-shaped rob red makes up for this in its mighty color. 
it is thought that the Rob Red is the only red diamond in the world, with the highest color grading of fancy intense red, making it unique among all red diamonds in respect of color saturation and clarity. Consequently, the Rob Red Diamond is deemed the most saturated and cleanest red diamond in existence in the world today. This is further supported by Stephen Hofer, renowned gemologist and author of Collecting and Classifying Fancy Colored Diamonds. He officially reported that this is the purest and most saturated red diamond to be visually and instrumentally measured to date on a global scale. Named after its owner, Mr. Robert Bajal, the stone was presumably found in Brazil. Sixth on our list is the stunning heart-shaped fancy red diamond ring by Musayef. The red diamond ring by Musayef is mounted with a 2.09 carat red diamond and a heart shape with SI2 clarity. The centerpiece is surrounded by petals made of six pear-shaped diamonds all above one carat and certified as D, internally flawless. This red diamond is not named, but I have called it Musay F Red Heart, so as not to be confused with a Musay F Red Diamond. The ring came up for auction at Christie's on 25 November 2014 in Hong Kong, where it was sold for 39,320,000 Hong Kong dollars, approximately $5.3 million. Headlining the 2018 collection of 63 pink, red, and violet diamonds is the Argyle Muse. A 2.20 carat polished oval diamond, the largest purplish red diamond ever offered a tender. With an unrivaled potency of color, the Argyle Muse will be keenly sought after by collectors and connoisseurs from Asia, where the color red is highly symbolic. To add to its rarity the Argyle Muse originated from a 7.5 carat rough diamond that yielded a second purplish red diamond for inclusion in 2018. While Rio Tinto does not release the prices achieved at each year's tender is kept secret, the company said the collection in 2018 reached double-digit price growth, including the sale of the most valuable diamond in the tender's history. The Argyle Muse, a 2.28 carat fancy purplish red diamond, was sold to an anonymous buyer, with an estimated price of anywhere between 14 to 21 million dollars. This is the largest heart-shaped red diamond in the world. It has never been photographed before, and this is the first time the public has seen it. How gorgeous is this? Red diamonds, extremely rare. The owner, Scarcelli Diamonds, has a price of, are you ready? Yeah. Ten million dollars. Wow. Can I just see it for a second? <clears throat> huh? How big is that diamond? Well, it's uh, more than a carat and a half. First things first, diamonds of color are extremely rare. Right. It's what, less than one percent. Never seen a red one before ever no. Exactly. So you never see this, and you never see one that's this big. Right. Mm. So that that alone, and then the exquisite cut, yeah. right? Just I've look never at that. seen a security detail this big in a studio. Isn't a lot of men in suits. I haven't either. Yeah. Right They're now. very official looking. Oh, Isn't am that I allowed delish? to put it on now? What do you think? Can I put it on, Mr. Scarcelli? Yeah, huh? he's like. I think that head nod was yes. <clears throat> well, hold on, hold on. Then it becomes no. used, May and I, I will off? put in an offer on, on, on it. If it's used, you'll put in an if offer. If it's used, it's really not worth. Why don't you buy it to keep here at the studio, and Maggie and I could share it. Take look, a look at that. Put it backwards. Here, yeah, put it yeah. on the other way. Let's see go. what it looks like on. Now yeah. you're wow. talking. Certainly, I, I there's somebody out there who really wants Ooh. to buy that. Mike, you you're think? watching, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, uh, <laughs> He's thinking, I'll make that lack of, rack of lamb for you, Maggie. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe lamb chops are what it's all about. All right. well, well, you know what? Yeah. I don't have Aww. $10 million diamonds Aww. or long look stem roses. but. This is for each of you. For They're me. beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Just as much, Dave. It's, it's, there we go. And their size doesn't matter. And look at this. Harry. Look at this. Oh, wow. I didn't like this one. Yeah, yes, I think we'll. Oh, we don't have to share. Even better. <laughs> Third on our list is the Kazanjian Red Diamond. The Kazanjian Red Diamond has a long, storied history that rivals the plot of romancing the stone. Discovered in Lichtenberg, South Africa, in the mid-1920s, the deep red 5.05-carat stone was cut from a much larger 35-carat piece of rough. A diamond dealer purchased the rough diamond for 280 British pounds way back in the 1920s. 
Amsterdam diamond cutters the Gouda brothers studied the stone for seven months before deciding on its emerald cut shape. The color of the finished stone was described at the time as looking as if a drop of blood fell upon the hand of the cutter. According to published reports, the stone then went on a wild ride that included stops at Tiffany and Company in New York. A safe in Arnhem, Netherlands. The Nazi regime of World War II Germany. A Bavarian salt mine. The workshop of diamond merchant Louis Astor. The estate of diamond magnate Sir Ernest Oppenheimer. And a return engagement at Astor. The stone had been largely out of sight in a private collection for more than 30 years when Kazanjian Bros Incorporated purchased the well-traveled gem and renamed it in 2007. It is now the centerpiece of the Kazanjian Foundation, which has been helping charities since 1957 through the display and sale of private jewelry collections. Second on our list is the Daeung Red Diamond. The Daeung Red Diamond is one of the largest known natural red diamonds. It is a modified round brilliant cut diamond graded by the Gemological Institute of America as BS2 in clarity and natural fancy dark reddish brown in color, weighing 5.03 carats. In the late 1930s or early 1940s, the diamond was acquired by S. Sidney Daeung, a Boston jeweler, mounted in an estate scarf pin set with a dark brownish red stone that everyone assumed was a garnet. Daeung realized on closer inspection that the red stone was not a garnet but a diamond. He removed the stone from its setting, kept it in a vault, and never offered it for sale. Daeung decided to bequeath the diamond to the Smithsonian, and it was officially accessioned into the National Gem Collection in December 1987. Originally known as the Red Shield. The Musay F Red is a triangular brilliant cut or trillion cut, fancy red, internally flawless, 5.11 carat diamond. Its estimated cost in the year 2001 to 2002, when it was acquired by its current owner Musay F Jewelers, was $8 million. That is almost $1.6 million per carat. Following its sale to Musay F Jewelers, the diamond was renamed the Musay F Red. Cut by the William Goldberg Corporation in the mid-1990s from a 13.90 carat rough stone. The diamond was discovered by a farmer in the Abidas Inho River at the Alto Paranaiba region of Brazil during the 1990s. The Musay F. Red was displayed at the Natural History Museum of the Smithsonian Institution on two occasions, in the years 2003 and 2005. In 2005, it was exhibited as part of a display showing eight of the most incredible diamonds in the world, the creme de la creme of the diamond world. Such is the esteem in which the Musay F. Red is held. Natural red diamonds are extremely rare, so rare that most jewelers will go a lifetime without having handled one. Fewer than 20 red diamonds have been discovered worldwide, and the esteemed club of red diamonds 5 carats and larger has only three members, the Kazanjian red, the 5.11 carat Musayef red, and the 5.03 carat the young red.